Hello and welcome to episode three of the Talking Raven. My name is Stanley Philippe. Um, I want to thank you all for tuning in this afternoon. I hope you had a, a lovely weekend. If you're in Canada, a lovely uh, long weekend. Um, this, this is a really great uh, month. It's been a great month for all of us at Carleton University. We've been hosting webinars um, pretty much every single day on Microsoft Teams. Um, if this is your very first webinar, I want to thank you for, for joining in. And I want to let you know about a really cool feature that we want you to utilize throughout today's event. You'll find the live event Q&A uh, a really great way to connect with us, to ask questions, but also share kind of how you're feeling and share your thoughts on today's webinar or about the, uh, the month uh, in general. So I really encourage you to utilize the live event Q&A. We have members of our uh, admissions and recruitment teams, both domestic and international, that are waiting to answer your questions. So make sure you do that. If uh, this is your second or more uh, webinar that you've tuned into this month, uh, welcome back. I'm really happy that you're finding this information, that you're hopefully finding it uh, informative, uh, useful, uh, entertaining as well. And uh, I'm sure that today will will hopefully meet your expectations of what you uh, want to hear from us uh, and this the, the third week uh, of the month of May. So today's Talking Raven is called The Conversation Continues. And the reason why we call it that is because we haven't stopped talking with you um, and vice versa. We've been having conversations again through the, our webinar series, through our Instagram account, uh, emails, live chats, uh, phone calls, and so on. And we want to let you know that we're going to continue to have those conversations uh, throughout these next few weeks and as you prepare for your, your very first year uh, in post-secondary. And to start today's event, uh, I want us to uh, reflect on where we are located. And Carl University acknowledges the location of its campus on the traditional unceded territories of the Algonquin Nation. And just last week, we made a, an announcement that I think is going to you know, help a lot of us uh, here in the Carlton community. Uh, so we announced the Indigenous Reconciliation Strategy uh, titled uh, Kinemagwin, which means uh, learning together. And uh, this is a really great strategy that took uh, months uh, of planning and of uh, consulting. So the Carlton University Strategic Indigenous Initiatives Committee uh, consulted with over 600 ind Indigenous and non-Indigenous people from within the university and the broader Indigenous community. And what came out of it uh, was this strategy. So we have put in place our 41 calls to action to help make Carleton a, a more welcoming space for current and future Indigenous students uh, and faculty members. And this is going to really help our entire community. So we're really excited to be able to announce, uh, again, this new strategy. Now, if you get a chance to look at the report, uh, it does, does begin with words from Barbara Dumont Hill, who is the knowledge keeper at the Carleton Ojikwanong Center, which is a beautiful space uh, on campus. And Barbara says the following, uh, quote, we are all connected. And when we can learn together with open minds and open hearts, the outlook will look brighter, end quote. And that is the intention of our webinar today. We want to update you as to what's happening um, at Carleton as it relates to your application. We want to support you and show you how we can support you uh, during these times. And we also want to remind you, we want to remind you of who we are and what kind of community is waiting for you uh, should you decide to choose uh, uh, Carleton as your post-secondary home. So to begin, uh, we had uh, last week, our president had sent out an email uh, to uh, students who were holding offers of admission or students who accepted their offers. So this email, again, straight from our president, Dr. Benoit Antoine Bacon, uh, talked about a lot of different things. And I just want to touch on uh, three points um, that, uh, that we would like to highlight uh, this afternoon. Uh, first off, Carlton has made the decision to guarantee the online delivery of all first year courses. So what that means is no matter what the certain scenario or circumstance that we're, uh, we're facing and we're going to face uh, in September, you will have access to your first year courses, okay, either virtually uh, or on campus. So we can guarantee you that delivery online. And we're going to touch a bit more about what that means and, and how we can ensure that the academic integrity that we're so well known for uh, remains intact even if your courses are delivered uh, online. The second thing I want to point out is uh, a date, uh, June 23rd, 2020. That is when registration will begin. Um, so for students who've accepted their offer of admission, what you'll see come up in the coming weeks is an email sent to your Carlton email account. 
uh, which will tell you a bit more about how you can access the registration tool um, and what that is, uh, as well as ways for you to start kind of working on your timetable uh, before your official registration date. So we definitely encourage you uh, to look at that email when it does arrive. Uh, but again, June 23rd is a date when we will be able to begin uh, official registration and we will have uh, virtual registration workshops that will become available uh, to help you navigate um, our various tools to help you again uh, pick the right courses for you in your first year. And there'll be um, staff uh, members as well that'll be available to help you out again as you're kind of planning uh, your courses uh, for year one. So definitely look out for that. Uh, and the last point I wanted to uh, mention uh, is about residents. So we continue to work closely with Ottawa Public Health to adapt our spaces and residents uh, for this upcoming fall. And that includes uh, single room spaces in traditional and suite style buildings, uh, increasing cleaning practices in communal areas, uh, and support for those requiring isolation immediately before um, or during their time in residence, and uh, as well as a, dec a decrease in the density of, of all of our areas uh, in our kind of residence uh, section of our campus. Um, so the deadline to respond to your guaranteed offer of residence uh, is still June 8th. Uh, 2020 uh, uh, by 4.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So that's when you want to uh, respond to that offer of residence as well as pay your $700 deposit. And so in order to do that, you need to accept your offer of admission first. And for many students studying in Ontario, um, your deadline to respond to your offer is quickly approaching. June 1st is that date. So it's a common date uh, across Ontario, Ontario universities. Uh, and so if you're a current Ontario high school student, you'll most likely have that June 1st deadline uh, on your offer of admission. For our other students, uh, again, pay close attention to uh, your offer because it will tell you the date that you'll need to respond by uh, to keep that guaranteed offer into your program of choice. So again, that information will be available uh, in your offer of admission. Um, now we want you to continuously check our uh, admissions website, admissions.carlton.ca. There's a lot of really great information on that site, including our FAQ page. So are there any questions related to COVID-19 as it pertains to your application um, or your first year? Uh, many of those questions will be answered uh, in the, uh, on the FAQ page. So please take the time to, to look at that page. We are still chatting with you. Uh, one of the folks that, are, that will be chatting with you this afternoon in our live event Q&A uh, mentioned that uh, the international uh, live chat is, uh, is really busy right now, which is great. We're, we're hearing more from our students, both domestic and international, and we want to hear from you. So please utilize that live chat to have those conversations with us online. And um, our CU virtual experience is uh, up and running. As you know, we have all these amazing webinars that we have planned at the beginning of the month, and they will continue throughout the month of May. Uh, we also have a virtual tour that will be coming out pretty soon, and, and it's, but it sounds like it looks amazing. So you'll be able to see your, our campus uh, from your home. And so please uh, definitely keep an eye out for uh, that virtual tour and uh, always check in on our, our CU virtual experience page again for more information on uh, the different things that you can do and ways you can connect with us uh, virtually. All right, so I alluded uh, to the fact that um, you know our academic experience is something that we really are uh, focused on and we want to talk a little bit more about what that would mean uh, for um, our students and and our summer session at Carleton began a couple weeks ago and we, we broke a record, uh, 13,000 students registered for courses uh, this summer. So that's a, a pretty big number. Again, the biggest uh, number that we've seen uh, in terms of summer registration. Um, so what that means for you if you're starting your Carleton journey in the fall is uh, a couple of things. Uh, first, um, you won't be the first to experience online learning this year. Uh, as a matter of fact, we started uh, doing the online uh, courses uh, and examinations in late March or middle to late March. And so you won't be the first one to have that experience. We'll be able to again, kind of uh, be much more familiar with uh, this type of uh, online uh, community uh, on a larger scale. But I should also mention that um, this isn't the first time that we've offered courses either online or through a video on demand uh, process. So we've done this for uh, quite some years now. I remember being a, a first year student at Carleton in the year 2000, if you can imagine that. And uh, um, some of my courses were available uh, through video on demand. So back then when I lived in residence, you would have to uh, book your residence TV lounge uh, to be able to watch uh, your course. So uh, a bit of a throwback there, but just to say that we have had the opportunity through video on demand, through our Carleton University 
online uh, services department uh, to offer some uh, courses either uh, again online or through uh, VOD uh, for some time. So, so we are familiar with the uh, the online process, and just recently we built and designed new tools to to help our students transition into the new virtual spaces that we've created as a result of COVID-19. Uh, one of these tools is the online student success module. So this is available through CU Learn, and CU Learn is uh, a site that you're going to be using a lot when you become a Carleton student. It's a great way for you to communicate with your professor. Uh, you'll be able to send your some of your assignments through CU Learn. Maybe you pick up some class notes through CU Learn as well. And there are some modules and and workshops you can do on that site too, including again this online student success module uh, to really help students kind of work out the nuts and bolts of online learning at Carleton. So that's something you're definitely going to want to look out for when you come to our campus uh, in the fall. And then our student for our center for student academic support is a really great uh, department at Carleton that will help you kind of navigate and uh, and continuously kind of work on your skills uh, and ensure that you know your your academic performance is the best that it can be. Um, they usually offer things like uh, note uh, taking uh, tutorials or, or workshops, uh, um, uh, essay prep uh, and writing skills and so on. And so they have a really great kind of uh, suite of, of services that are available. And what they're doing right now is offering webinars on uh, tips and resources to help students succeed in their summer classes. So we understand that even in a kind of a, a quote unquote normal uh, year, the summer term is different. And, and this year, especially being that it's delivered online. And so they're offering these amazing web webinars to help you kind of navigate uh, that summer um, uh, session. And these type of webinars will be available again uh, in the fall for our students who are starting their journey uh, in September. We're also supporting our professors because for many of our professors, this is a new experience too. And so we do have uh, these amazing training and, and workshop uh, modules that are available to help professors as they convert and transition their courses to these virtual spaces. So across the board, there's a lot of support to again ensure that the academic integrity is uh, remains at the forefront. And to also kind of highlight the fact that this is a unique year and there are unique circumstances that come along with this year. And we want to make sure that we address those circumstances as they come about. And, uh, and to be honest, you may not realize this yet, but you know, being part of a, of a special cohort is something that's very, very special um, because you're going to experience something uh, together uh, as a group, as a cohort, as a collective. And so when you go into your first year at Carleton, again, whether it's online or on campus, you know, you'll turn to your lab and turn to your right or, or look at the names on the screen and you'll recognize that, hey, we all have gone through the same thing. Uh, we've had a very similar kind of academic uh, journey uh, to get here uh, into your post-secondary institution. Uh, and so that type of uh, connection, that type of community is something that's really important. It's also important for you to know that Carleton will be here uh, to support you uh, now in every step of your post-secondary journey. Uh, one of the really cool things that our professors do is offer um, office hours. So every week, uh, they'll make themselves available to students in their classes so they can uh, meet one-on-one. -on -one. And our professors are going to continue to do that uh, through the uh, online office hours. So again, a chance for you to talk to your prof about uh, some of the uh, material you maybe have seen in your uh, your online class or, or you know, chat a bit more about some of the assignments that you're working on and so on. So that, again, that connection is something that we want to continue uh, in your uh, in the, uh, the online spaces. Uh, you'll see on the screen a couple of examples of ways that we support our student success. Uh, one of which is a, a really cool um, a Q&A that happened in uh, late April, uh, which is the uh, Ask the Counselor uh, Mindfulness Lab Q&A. It's happened on April 27th and offered by our Health and Counseling Services. Um, so I want to talk a bit more about, about some of the different services that are available for students who uh, may be uh, needing a bit more uh, mental health support uh, and so on. So uh, one of the things that we do have is uh, Empower Me. It's, uh, they're offering free counseling. Uh, through uh, CUSA, which is the Carleton University Student Association. And they're doing this in collaboration with existing on-campus counseling services. So students can access uh, qualified counselors, uh, consultants, and life coaches by phone or virtually 24-7, 365. So definitely can utilize uh, that resource. Um, if you're dealing with anxiety or depression, uh, we really encourage you to sign up for a TAO online therapy. Uh, this is an online program that offers various uh, video resources uh, to help you understand and manage how you're thinking, how you're feeling, how you're behaving, uh, especially during uh, these times. And 
We do offer additional support within TAO uh, with brief uh, weekly meetings uh, with a counselor via video conference. And so for more information on, on TAO or TAO Online Therapy and other wellness initiatives, uh, definitely check out our website, www.carlton.ca slash wellness. Now, maybe I'll get one of my colleagues to post that onto the live event Q&A uh, published side of things. You can see that site. Again, that's carlton.ca slash uh, wellness. And of course, our CU Therapy Dog Program uh, remains a really important source of joy, of strength uh, for our students or staff or faculty. Um, they've moved their program online, so you can follow them on Instagram um, at, C at CU Therapy Dogs. That's at uh, the letter C, the letter U, uh, Therapy Dogs, and uh, you'll be able to see some of our um, over a dozen therapy dogs online. Uh, and then it brings a smile to our faces, but also kind of, again, reminds us of the different ways that we can, again, support our students um, as they navigate their post-secondary journey. So uh, uh, we definitely want you to remember that. We also want you to tune in to some of the webinars that are happening this week, because this week is Resource Week. So it's all about the ways, again, that we can support your success. Um, uh, tomorrow, we will be featuring the Paul Menton Center for Students with Disabilities. Uh, so definitely want you to tune in to that. Uh, on Thursday, our awards and financial aid office will take center stage and it will wrap the week up with our student experience office. And the SEO does a lot of really great things, a lot of great programming throughout the year. They also run the summer orientation and fall orientation program. So they do a really great job of welcoming our students uh, into their new community. Um, so again, you'll definitely want to tune in uh, to that. And one of our greatest strengths here at Carlton is our unique sense of community. And that is at the heart of everything that we do. And uh, I just wanna remind you that during these kind of strange circumstances, we're really confident that um, our warmth, our, our compassion, uh, our community will continue to shine through again to help you out. And I gotta tell you, for me personally, it's, uh, it, it can be uh, uh, less true. It's a really important thing for me to know because I was there. I, I was a student, again, uh, way back when. And, uh, but I remember, I remember in, the year 2000, my very first year, my very first week, my first day on campus, I moved into residence and I didn't know a single person uh, in the city, let alone uh, at Carleton. Uh, but within uh, a matter of hours, you know, after me and my roommate and talking to my residence fellow and getting involved with um, orientation week, I quickly felt uh, like a part of the community. And that led to me uh, working on campus as a residence fellow. And we're, those are upper year students that will support um, students living in residence. Uh, you know, I worked on campus uh, through a recruitment office uh, as a telecounselor, making phone calls uh, to reach out to our uh, future uh, Ravens uh, and so on. And so that involvement really helped me not only understand the power of community, but it also helped me land my job, my career. Uh, so since 2004, I've been working at Carleton as a member of the undergraduate recruitment team. Uh, and it's been uh, really my passion. Um, the thing that I love the most to do is it's able to, uh, to help students again, find their post-secondary journey. Uh, and and it's, uh, it's something that's really important because you know post-secondary does drive a lot of different things, decisions that we make, research, and so on. And so I, I love being able to do that and be able to be a part of, of a community that supports um, students. But don't take my word for it. You're gonna be hearing from our students. Um, our students are calling you. Um, so if you got a phone call from Carlton, uh, hopefully you had a really good conversation with one of our student callers. And these are current students that are reaching out to tell you more about what it's like to be a Carleton student today uh, in 2020, uh, in 2019 and so on. So uh, it's really neat to be able to have our student callers doing that. And you may also receive a phone call from a faculty member and our faculty want to connect with you to tell you a bit more about what, is, what does it mean to be a student studying uh, in journalism? What does it mean to study uh, in civil engineering uh, and so on? And so they're going to be hopefully able to connect with you over the phone. Uh, if you don't get a phone call, again, we are here to answer your questions. So you definitely can reach out to us uh, at the, in the recruitment office, either by phone, by email, uh, through the live chat. We're answering questions um, every single day. And then when you come to Carlton, you're going to be, uh, you're going to have access to a really cool community with a lot of different ways for you to get involved. There are literally hundreds of clubs and societies uh, that you can partake in um, at Carlton. Um, and we also have a winning culture both inside uh, and outside of the classroom too. And it makes me think about kind of like my last, um, I guess, um, active memory of uh, my time at Carleton, uh, which I guess really didn't happen at Carleton. So in March, I was uh, in LA. Uh, I went for a, uh, a trip and, and uh, on March 8th of this year, 
uh, Carlton's men's basketball team was playing in the national championship game. And so I remember being in my LA hotel thinking, I have to tune into this game uh, because I need to watch our Ravens hopefully win yet again. And when you have it, uh, they managed to win their 15th title in the last 18 years. So when I talk about winning culture, literally uh, we do win uh, quite a lot uh, when it comes uh, to the playing field. And, and it's a really great way to, again, feel connected no matter where you are. You know, I, again, I was in LA when that happened, but I felt the connection uh, to the Carlton community. So I, again, even if our classes are taking place online, the Carlton community will be there uh, to support you virtually. And, and then once you get back on campus, uh, we'll be there too. So hopefully I see a lot of questions are, are coming in to our live event Q&A. So please continue to ask your questions uh, as we uh, go along in today's event. Uh, the live Q&A will remain open until 1.30 p.m. Um, I also, again, want to uh, echo what's happening this week. So we have uh, a few diff uh, different departments are being um, highlighted, uh, including the Paul Menton Center for Students with Disabilities uh, tomorrow afternoon, um, our uh, financial aid office uh, on Thursday, and on Friday, the Student Experience Office. Um, I'll be back uh, next Monday for our last edition of the Talking Raven, or at least the last one in May. We might bring this back in June, who knows? Um, but that'll be my last kind of appearance during our May uh, webinar series. Uh, for more information on all the different ways you can connect with us uh, virtually uh, and to really highlight our See You at Home series, please visit our missions website, emissions.carlton.ca. Also, give us a follow on Instagram. Um, a lot of cool content you'll see on our Instagram account. Carlton underscore future is that account. We've also been giving out prizes over uh, these last few weeks and we'll continue to do so um, this week. You might notice I'm wearing my Carlton Spirit shirt, so you can maybe win one of these shirts uh, too. So uh, DM, DM us on Instagram to, to find out how you can win and um, continue to check in with us again throughout uh, this journey. Uh, so that's the end of today's, again, live presentation. We will keep the Q&A open until 1.30. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this has been The Talking Raven. My name is Stanley Philippe, and we will see you soon.